If you're a Gen Zer and you're not using LinkedIn in 2023, what are you doing? In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why you should be on this platform right now and you could be winning so much quicker than you are on every other platform. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Satiris. I talk all things LinkedIn. I am your resident YouTube LinkedIn person. If you have questions, go and find me on LinkedIn and connect with me. If you don't have questions, consider subscribing to the channel. I don't know, but I'm here to tell you exactly why Gen Zers should be using LinkedIn right now. And the thing is, I'll start by saying that a lot of people, a lot of Gen Zers, maybe look at LinkedIn as a bit of a older person's kind of place, an older person's type of platform. Why would you want to use it when you've got the likes of TikTok, when you've got the likes of Instagram, all these fancy kind of places where Gen Zers will hang out? Why would you sit on LinkedIn with a load of old folks? Wrong mindset. LinkedIn is the biggest opportunity for you right now because of two reasons. One, you understand social media and building personal brands better than probably anyone. And two, there are decision makers on LinkedIn that can help you with your career goals by buying your products and services. And there's a lack of people actually posting content on the platform. So let's break down for you if you're new to LinkedIn why and what LinkedIn kind of is right now. Because LinkedIn was always known as this kind of old person's platform. People go on there if they want to get a job or post their CV, recruiters will use it. Whilst that's still the case, the fact is it is a fully fledged social media platform with nearly a billion users. And I'm, I'm not talking just anybody. These are people who allocate their names, their, their job titles, their contact details, the industries that they're in when they are signing up. So in terms of a platform, you're able to post videos, you're able to post carousels, you're able to post photos, articles, all of the stuff that you can do on the general social media platforms that you're used to, except for now you can target it specifically to the audience that you want. Say you've got, uh, you're in social media marketing and you want to speak to and promote yourself in front of and build a personal brand around the subjects of B2B owners that want to generate more leads online. Okay. The usual practice would be I'll post some TikToks, but actually the generations that are using TikToks are a bit younger. So maybe aren't the people that can make the decisions and part with their cash. Okay. So I'll post on Instagram reels. Great. But unless you built a solid personal brand on Instagram, which is oversaturated now, it's gonna be quite hard to break through the noise. And also decision makers aren't always hanging out on Instagram. LinkedIn is where they are. They are wanting to engage with professionals. So if you start building your personal brand on LinkedIn to bring value, bring insights, show results and post consistent content, your ability to actually become an authority in that space and the person to go to in front of the people that can make the decisions, that can actually buy your products and services is increased tenfold. You now have the ability to be that person. And as I say, there is such a limited number of people that are actually posting on the platform. The opportunity there is wild. LinkedIn want to be a more fully fledged social media platform. It is the largest professional social media platform on planet Earth. So if that doesn't whet your appetite and if you're selling services and products and you want to be in front of decision makers, I mean, I don't know what can motivate you more. I'm going to be honest with you. If that doesn't motivate you, what does? So my kind of ask of you right now is if you have a product, if you have a service, if you want to future proof yourself and grow a, a personal brand on any old platform, choose the one that has the people that can make the decisions and spend their money with you. Do it on LinkedIn while it's not oversaturated, whilst your content organic reach is greater than most platforms out there, whilst video is still in its infancy. And the fact is, as a Gen Zer, you know how to do all of this. You know how to use video. You're comfortable in front of camera. You're comfortable posting content out to the world. You know how algorithms work. The opportunity, I can't, I can't stress it enough. When I see so I, I coach a lot of people. I also help clients. So they come to me for ghostwriting or uh, profile optimizations or LinkedIn kind of um, management services that we do. So we run all their content for them. When we're growing their brands and their profiles, first thing I do is, do you feel comfortable actually getting yourself on, on camera? Or do you feel comfortable putting yourself out there 
so people can kind of build that rapport with you because it's a, a really great way of you being able to connect with customers. And a lot of them don't. A lot of them are, I've got to be careful here because I'm, I'm not exactly some spring chicken. I'm a millennial. So but a lot of them are in their 50s, their 60s. They still have loads of life left in them. They still want to improve their business, grow their business, but they maybe aren't at that stage. They aren't at that space where they feel comfortable doing all these things that Gen Zers would or millennials potentially are comfortable doing, like going on camera, like building those brands, building that rapport with people um, digitally. So you now have that ability to not only target, connect with, put content in front of, message direct all these people, but you're in a space where a lot of the people that do make those decisions don't have the confidence to actually put themselves out there. So in turn, they're on the platform, but they're consuming loads of content. They are consuming, 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 being influenced by on a consistent basis. That is the opportunity. So I hope you go away from this video, log into your LinkedIn. If you need help with building your LinkedIn out, I've run an optimization service. So do find me on LinkedIn, message me, say you came from YouTube, and we'll see what we can do to optimize your profile, make you stand out from day one. And if you're out there thinking, I know I need to use LinkedIn more. I know it's the opportunity of the next decade, but I just don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to use social media. I don't know how to post. I don't know how to target my audience. Get in touch. Again, follow me and connect with me on LinkedIn. Send me a message. We can organize. We have these services. I help people do this. I've done it for myself, generated plenty of leads for myself, plenty of leads for other people. I'm not going to go into numbers and start big heading, bloating it up, but let's just say we know how to use LinkedIn. So now's an opportunity. If you're a Gen Zer, please, 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 please just get on LinkedIn. Use the skills, the knowledge, the confidence and the experience that you have in the digital world and go and put it out to the world on LinkedIn consistently, you will win. I, I promise you that. Go and do it. Oh, and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.